my current project which I have not started yet again Tansi Sulaiman Mahbub is now chairman of of other uh, of TM Malaysia Telecom Malaysia relating to 1MDB when he read it the the PAC report of 1MDB he was in London then he called he said Zam the more I read this the more I'm convinced what Malaysia lacks is governance but, but, governance And yet we have five revisions ever since. <laughs> that means, huh? ah, the, no, the the green book, the green book, and then Kazana do their own. See, the thing about Malaysia, we have got the good ideas, but everybody wants to play smart alec. It doesn't work. You know, if, I'm sorry. What to my mind is, if you have uh, an idea, okay, it's your idea. Fine, you sell it in conferences and the like. But you cannot just own it that is yours. You must share it. You must disseminate it. And when you want to bring it to the public uh, realm, you must have a team of experts digging deep into what exactly you are trying to solve. Isn't it? Uh, say, for example, corporate governance. 2000, uh, 1999, we have that green book, first one. Uh, then one there was in the high level conf, uh, f committee on on it kan? then one of the, I remember one of those uh, resolution was to establish the Malaysian Institute of Corporate Governance to educate the directors of the boards of commercial entities in Malaysia right five founding members among others SEMA ACCA and what have you can look at where they are this is MICG you know this is the institute founded upon that corporate governance uh, uh, scandals that we had yeah but that uh, special purpose vehicle called MICG themselves succumb to a certain fault so that, that was, this is a this is a public domain case if you have not heard about it yeah this the one of the CEO was was uh, charged on CBT so, so what I'm saying is Malaysia we have all the good ideas then we create a lot of institutions but we are not serious in its implementation no it's uh, monitoring you, when you do so then you leave it to chances you will die soft you cannot rush a four year modules in university to a three year calendar when you compressed time being a very finite resource if you are I mean you are the one who are tasked to compress the four year modular uh, uh, curriculum into a three year program how many contact hours do you think, do you think your, your students can benefit everyone you are rushing on top of that teaching duty you are, you are being pressured to come up with your KPIs on articles not any articles you know it has to be referred journals you have to go around and interview people like me. <laughs> you cannot leave it to your yes, juniors. You know what I'm saying? But again, having said it all, I, I must say that it's a, it's a noble calling. It's a noble calling. Oh, yes. That's, a, that's the only one that, that we have, isn't it? Character building is important. I must say that it is, but again, it must be done uh, in due uh, course, gradually. You cannot, you cannot rush it. This has been with me for the past fifteen years. Some dies off, another shoots comes up, you know. And she has been very patient, <laughs> as I am, <laughs> you know. But you cannot transplant this elsewhere. Yeah, maybe this is a potted plant nature, isn't it? You put this potted plant in the jungle of the balloon, it won't survive. So what I'm saying simply is that some great ideas has to be nurtured over time. And you have to invest uh, your resources to it. Yeah? And don't leave it to chances.
easier. I thought it's easier to address them than the private sector, isn't it? Because at least in the private uh, public sector, you have JPA, yeah, you have Intan, you have Ikim, perhaps you have IAM. But the challenge is still in the public sector. It's a very feudalistic existence. <laughs> you some juniors are not meant to even be heard. What more seen in the big meetings? Some meetings who, who make who make major decisions, only a handful of them speak, rather than engage. Whereas in the history of civil service years, in the year yesterday years, a proper civil servant will say in a such a way respectfully, but stand on its uh, facts. Yeah. Before decisions are made, even the leader of any ministries is the secretary general, not the minister. Because the secretary general, being the topmost uh, civil servant, will say something like, uh, "Decisions are yours, sir, but to my best judgment and uh, professional research, these are the facts that lay on this case. These are the options for you to ponder." But these are the consequences, consequences that that comes along with each option, isn't it? Nowadays, people don't talk like that. People say when the minister wants to do a certain thing, they just jump into the details without even ex challenging the ideas, isn't it? When they don't even ask what more hard question. <laughs> <laughs> they will just say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how many back for, sir? <laughs> now, I'm not generalizing. What I'm suggesting is simply, in the public sector, sector, it's supposed to be a lot easier, but because of this feudalistic mindset, that uh, the higher you are, the, the wiser you're supposed to be. But in actual fact, it doesn't work that way. Yeah? Because there's a lot of compromises sometimes being made along the way. Yeah. Unlike the Japanese, the Japanese has a very nice proverb: "The higher you, mount, you climb the mountain, the wider your horizon." Makes sense. Malaysia now is sixty-one years. Are we wiser? <laughs> See, yeah. we cannot answer that convincingly, even to ourselves. So, I don't know. But yeah, like they say, harapan. Anything from Dr. Oh, you are done. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Closing up this. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I have three things I want to to share. Number one, uh, to to my mind, uh, collaboration is the key. I mentioned the three stakeholders just now: academia, professionals, and practitioners. So please mull it over and do something about it. Not to say that it's uh, the best, but at least you have a lot better chances to strike your target. Number two, um, the young minds in the university should be guided, not lectured upon. The modern world is coached, isn't it? Uh, mentored. But guided is the best. And to guide it, to guide them, it must be with full of uh, mercy and love. It's, it's unlike giving seeds to birds or, or chicken. Just throw it to the wind and that's it. Now this is like giving or nurturing a kitten. Yeah, You even pour the milk in your palm and let the kitten lick your palm. Yeah, That's the way. Because Al-Ghazali, Imam Al-Ghazali, reminds us so many times over in his works, uh, to teach us, in this case, perhaps you both of you qualifies. Um, being sincere is the paramount quality. Being sincere means don't ask for professorship, don't ask for deanship, what more vice chancellorship. <laughs> yeah, just teach to the best of your knowledge that you know and to the best way that you could. Yet, he says, higher than even that, sincerity is to love your children, your, your students. That means 
the bond between a student and a teacher goes beyond graduation day. That means when he or she or they graduate, they will always have at the back of their mind a teacher to refer to should they have dilemmas in ethical decisions making, in problem solving, in leadership. You know, that's important to any students. All of us are students. So we passed our exam. We don't forget our teachers. We just forget the exams, <laughs> isn't it? So that's what I meant. The second bit, that is, teachers in universities must rise up to this occasion, stand up, and don't ask for more, more grant, more uh, allowances when you travel, more this, more that. Less is better, because that reflects the sincerity. But more should be best. Best, yeah. <laughs> so, and this is where I wish, I hope. Uh, through this interview, uh, we can we can continue engage in ideas. You heard what our colleague says just now. Uh, master ideas are rare, but it takes time to nurture them, and it's best in a controlled environment. Yeah. So keep keep in touch, and this institute is a, a public arena for any to to claim. This is not a government institution per se. This is not a commercial making body either. But this is where ideas are germinated and nurtured like a tapak semayan of the past. Lah. You know, with the right climate, you know, somehow this potted plant can be a uh, bigger tree for all you know. <laughs> Thank you very much for this honor. <laughs>